Thank you very much and a very, very warm welcome to all of you to the home of the London Stock Exchange. A pleasure and an honor for us to uh, host you today after a very successful market uh, opening uh, uh, ceremony this morning. This is your day. We're very, very excited about all the opportunities for uh, meeting, uh, arranging connectivity between investors and the growth opportunities that the Caspian Corridor offers to the London investment community, $3.5 trillion of investable equity assets are managed right here, you know, within the square mile and, and beyond. This is a fantastic opportunity for businesses from the region to meet with investors, to present their stories, and a fantastic opportunity for managers, pension funds, mutual funds, and many others to consider the region's incredible success story, uh, a success story that was uh, very successfully articulated in the British press in the last few weeks and which we are here to celebrate. So welcome, a very warm welcome to all of you, particularly as we've heard all the many government officials and representatives and business leaders who have traveled sometimes from afar to be here with us uh, today. Of course, the UK Prime Minister's trade envoy to the Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, and Turkmenistan area, Professor uh, uh, Charles Hendry. And of course, all our conference partners, the International Bank of Azerbaijan, amongst uh, others, the British Azerbaijan Business Council, Asia House, and of course, our uh, friends at the City UK. Today's conference is a very timely reminder of how interconnected the economies of Europe and its neighbors, and particularly the Caspian Corridor are. We at the London Stock Exchange believe this economic interconnectedness is actually a good thing, and as we are actually seeing it next door, a factor for a conflict resolution and a very powerful one, certainly one of them. I would like to focus briefly on how London is supporting the growth of the Caspian Corridor economies now, and how we can do even more as the nature of these economies continues to shift, evolve, as they grow uh, from uh, resource mining stories into services, technology, and other forms of infrastructure investments. London's ability and willingness to forge partnerships, not just to supply services and expertise, but forging partnerships at the core of what we do here in the City of London and certainly here at the London Stock Exchange, particularly with new economic powers. This is what has, over the last few hundred years, this is what has made London the world's leading international financial center that it is today. As I mentioned earlier, $3.5 trillion of investable assets managed out of London. This is the world's largest and most international such asset pool. Close to 600 companies, international companies, non-European companies from 115 countries are listed right here in London. And more importantly for companies looking for not only capital but expertise, the largest pool of sector analysts, of specialists who understand your business, whether it's infrastructure, energy, mining, finance, services, and yes, technology, London has it all. And that expertise is at your disposal not only as a source of capital, but also as a source of benchmarking in terms of your own performance and effort in what is a global race for capital and growth. Many companies from the Caspian Corridor already are benefiting from the advantages that London offers. In fact, 25 companies already are listed on our markets from that region, including uh, well-known success stories like, like Kasmunian Gas, Dragon Oil, Halig Bank, and the Bank of Georgia. Some, in fact, uh, are represented here today with us. So far, they have raised in excess of $81 billion on our markets. By raising finance in London, these companies are playing an important part in their region's development, economic growth, job creation, the buildup of infrastructure to support yet more growth. Take the example of Dragon Oil, for example invested $2.7 billion in expanding oil production in the southern Caspian Basin, and is clearly today one of the largest foreign investors in Turkmenistan. Yet the region is changing. 
it is strengthening and diversifying its business model. And this is where the opportunity lays today to build an even deeper partnership, ranging beyond hydrocarbons, energy, and mining. The huge number of senior people present today here shows the appetite for working with the Caspian region, and in fact, the long-standing relationship and the depth of the friendship between the United Kingdom and the City of London and the countries in that region. Strong, ambitious oil and gas sector companies uh, have been investing together with government in game-changing projects. To name just a few, the Southern Gas Corridor, the Trans-Anatolian Gas Pipeline, TANAP, the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline, TAP, which uh, has the potential uh, to supply in excess of 20% of Europe's gas needs. But also, as I referred to earlier, an increasing diversification of the corridor's economies. We've seen the very successful uh, launch and listing recently of telecoms operator KSEL, one, in fact, of the largest IPOs in the last few years from the Caspian Corridor in London. They raised $525 million in 2012 at IPO time. Their market cap today is up 62% since the listing, reaching $3.5 billion today. A great success story to be celebrated and commended. Financial sector is another area. No need to talk about London's expertise in the space, but the banking sector in particular is one we believe is to watch here uh, with the need for capital and financing of infrastructure and other businesses as large as ever. Several banks in the region are increasingly active in global capital markets, and we believe present the prospects for listings, very attractive such prospects for listing in our market. As the Caspian economy is strengthened and diversified, London's offering to the region must also evolve, diversified and uh, with it. Our equity markets, we believe, will play a pivotal role in supporting critical investments in future growth, but also our fast-growing and very, very liquid bond market, whether one looks at sovereign debt issuance or corporate debt. The London Stock Exchange Group, right here in the city of London, runs Europe's largest sovereign go government bond market as well as its largest and most liquid electronic corporate bond market. So keep us in mind for your fixed income needs as well, particularly long-term debt, one of our speciality. The IPO pipeline, uh, to which I referred to uh, uh, earlier, is indeed very exciting. What London can offer, uh, to leave you with just a few bullet points, in fact, five of them are, are this. The largest expert international investor base in the world. Realistic pricing. This is so important for long-term performance a high level of market liquidity, global exposure to your competitors, to your peers, effectively the right benchmarks and access to global growth markets, and a significantly lower cost of doing overall cost, all in, that includes exchange fees, by the way, of listing in London versus other locations around the world. But again, as I mentioned, London offers much more beyond equity. I referred earlier to our debt capabilities. And we particularly welcome the very proactive approach of Caspian region governments, and in particular, sovereign wealth funds, whom you know very well are present from the world over in London and continue to be welcome in the city of London. Sovereign wealth money, notwithstanding the fact that the two largest shareholders of the London stock exchange, our sovereign wealth uh, uh, funds, but sovereign wealth funds are welcome in London. We know them, we understand them, we understand their need for growth, and we will present them the, with the very best opportunities. Finally, the high level of cooperation at the political level between the UK authorities, governments, and regulators, and key Caspian stakeholders in developing the region is a key asset which we should not forget. In conclusion, I would say that today we have an opportunity to further develop and strengthen, deepen the historical relationship between the United Kingdom, the City of London, and the economies, the companies, and the governments of the Caspian Corridor to further increase our economic 
interconnectedness for mutual benefit. London's internationalism and experience, combined with our mutual ambition to succeed, to create growth, to create jobs for our respective stakeholders, populations, investors, and governments, is what binds us. Based on historic success of our existing cooperation, we believe we can do even more going forward. I very much hope, together with my colleagues at the London Stock Exchange Group, that today's conference will be an opportunity to build such new partnerships and new opportunities for growth. And I very much look forward to a very interesting day of discussions and increased connections.